Well, folks, once again, uh, another video here. This time we're discussing the Analog NT Mini. And um, it is that FPGA-based system that can do many different cores. And right now we got the Sega Master System going because, you know, I like things Sega. And Rampage is a good game to show off the Master System's uh, superiority over the Nintendo. Uh, let the fanboys, you know, deck that out. But uh, Rampage on Nintendo is definitely not as good as the... Master System one. The sprites look much bigger here. Uh, it does include Ralph, which the Nintendo one sorely lacks, and that FM audio, which the Analog NT Mini does so well. We are playing on my JVC 36 inch IR TV, and we are using, as I stated before, the Analog Out. So you got two RCAs there, and you got a DE15 cable going to component onto this wonderful CRT, and it looks and sounds absolutely glorious. So, what makes the NT special, NT Mini special, is the fact that it can do your HDMI, but it also has the ports for analog. And in that DE15, you can do RGB SCART, you can do component, you can do S video, you can even do composite. So it's a very versatile port, and uh, using component on this TV is just breathtaking, and. You know, Look how clean and crisp that looks. Um, let's do Nintendo Mega Man 3. So I got my buddy here who actually bought this wonderful machine. Um, and he's going to go through it a little bit. And right now you're looking at all the SMS ROMs. Because it does have an SD card on, slot on the side. So you can load all those uh, ROMs. And he is going to load a different core. He is now going to load Nintendo. And he's got tons of games. He's going to load up a game that he feels, he, I, I believe his, his words were, this is the best he's ever felt this game. Um, and he just recently played it on the 3DS. He's played it over here a few times on the emulators with like Nestopia and whatnot. And, it, you know, he's obviously played this game even with his um, Analog NT Mini via HDMI. And according to him, because he knows this game really, really well, and he likes Mega Man. This is the best it's ever felt, and um, I've noticed just by him playing it, he does seem to play a much better, uh, much faster. And you know, he's using a wired NES controller, so you can see the front there. And, I mean, how does it look to you? Does it look good? Yeah, looks great. So, you know, I gave him a, a Toshiba CRT that we found, and uh, for him helping me bring this big boy home, I said, you know what, you can just have it. And uh, now the Analog NT Mini, I mean, really lives up to its name with Analog. I mean, it, yeah, HDMI is great, and uh, Captress is going to support the HDMI out. But the fact that they added the Analog out, and the timing is as close as it can be to the actual Nintendo timing, that makes a big difference. And he's showing it right now. He's just walking through this game. I mean, he's probably played this game hundreds of times, and... He knows the little quirks of inside and out, but when you're playing on an emulator, you know, they change things here and there. And of course, it's emulation. I mean, it's making a CPU pretend to be something else, where this is, uh, like I said, a hardware simulator. And the analog NT does have four uh, NES controller ports in the front. It has two slots, uh, one for Famicom, one for uh, NES. And it's a great system. I mean, it's got the Famicom disk system port on the back. So it supports those, you know, games too. And I just tell you what, this is looking really, really crisp on my screen. Um, it makes me want to buy one really badly because, you know, everyone's like, oh, well, you know, HDMI is the way to go. And, and that's true. But if you have one of these CRTs, this is breathing a new life into it. I mean, he's just walking through this game. And look at the life bar. On emulation with overlays and everything, it's hard to get the scan lines to line up with the life bar. But on this TV, because we're using the NT Mini, um, no issues at all. No. They're they're perfectly even. That's the way it's supposed to be. And he's just he's just walking through this game. I mean, I mean, it definitely um, is expensive machine. It's it's going for four forty nine. He's got the black version um, because pretty much that's all they had. And that jacks it up another fifty dollars. But I mean, it's a great machine. I'm gonna. Uh, record this snake man video from back here so you guys can see how this really looks the 
So it feels good, huh? You're pressing the buttons and it feels exact? It's just, it's, it's native arm, man. No. Do you feel any lag at all? No, no. Do you see any motion blur? <laughs> Yeah, he's laughing. I, motion blur is a thing that I, I really don't like. And, you know, I was playing with my OLED laptop last night, and um, I was noticing some motion blur, some ghosting. And that's going to happen on any of these flat panel displays. It just, I mean, the technology is, you know, it, it's good. Uh, it's great. It looks great. But when you're playing these old games, these analog, this, I mean, this analog CRT just takes an image and just shoots it out almost instantaneous. I mean, it's pretty good. But up. Uh, let me get a quick real look, closer look at the uh, Analog NT Mini, and I'll show you the back of it. So it's got that Famicom disc system. It's actually got a microphone port, believe it or not. The microphone port is good for those FDS games. And you got your power there. You got a USB port uh, on the back. I don't know what it's for. The red button is the power power button, and then he's got. SD slot there and that, you know you load in the BIOSes, you load in the phone firmwares and that's how you get all the different cores but uh yeah the fact that we can play component and this looks clean guys I mean this looks it looks great it really does now he's playing top man stage I mean it's it's pretty it's pretty awesome so if you got the money you can do it. Now, the one thing is that the maker of the Analog NT, his name is Keptris, he's been releasing updates pretty much on a weekly basis, and he's been adding systems. He's doing Game Boy, Game Boy Color. Um, we started off showing the uh, Sega Master System with FM Audio. Obviously, it does Nintendo. Um, there were talks that he might be able to do Genesis on there, but we're talking that might not be for a while. Um, he does have another console in the works, but we don't know when that's going to happen. That could be two years down the road. But I got to say, this is a great product. Um, I fully endorse it. And I think my friend next to me, he's really happy with it. Especially now that, you know, I just gave him a CRT. And um, I'm really happy with it. This is pretty amazing right now. I mean, this looks really good. Black levels there. I mean, the lag is non-existent. But would, would you say this is better than HDMI on your uh, Vizio M series? Yes, ever so slightly. Well, there you heard it from. I mean, the guy owns both TVs, so he's got a CRT, and now he's got the Vizio, and I think he's going to be playing on the CRT more, I bet, I would imagine. And I can't blame him. You know, if you got a CRT laying around, this might be worth having, because this is better than you know, emulation. Emulation cannot match this. Well, anyway, guys, that's going to bring the end of this uh, CRT and Analog NT Mini series um if you know anything else comes out you can look it up online atari age has a big big thread on it uh Keptris, the creator he's in there and he talks about it every every week or so and uh it's it's pretty amazing i mean i think it's worth it um considering when you think of all the things you have to do to get rgb out of a nintendo uh a sega master system oh actually master system has native rgb but all the other systems like a game he's got game gear game boy color i mean getting rgb out of those is really really difficult and expensive whereas you just get it all in one box and you're good to go anyway guys till next time have yourself a good one uh take care